Hi guys, this is GadgetMan404 and this is a flight that I did um, with my Phantom 2 Vision Plus. I changed my aerial on my receiver. I used my mobile phone for uh, the receiver and I plug, well I plug a receiver into my mobile phone which is an Android. It's one of them ROGO1s from Banggood. And I changed the, the, the way the aerial comes out the back of the drone to see if I would get better picture. Now this way is the, the aerial. I've mounted the, the transmitter for the video camera is going straight out the back. I hardly get break up at this point. So it's really, 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 really clear. So that is one real cool thing. And the picture quality, as you can see, is absolutely amazing. My signal hasn't been this good. When you do videos normally with um, these things, that, that you get a little bit of you get a little bit of static like that. But nothing any worse than that. But normally when you're watching through your phone screen, it's just too blurry. You can't really make out what you're looking at. But as you can see here, you can make out the buildings. You can see the different tones of the grass. You can see the hedges, cars, all that kind of stuff. You can really, really make out what you're looking at. Uh, I wasn't too high off the ground. I was probably 50 metres, if that so uh, i wasn't too too high excuse me this has been filmed and edited and voice over and it's like half 12 at night but i just want to get this done i've changed the ratio to this video to 9.6 or something instead of 19.6 i've changed it um it's a lot narrower but it, it then doesn't stretch the image and then you don't lose the pixels so i think uh, this is possibly how i'll go in the future when i do videos with the fpv flight as you can see perfect blue sky really really frosty and the picture is just amazing absolutely amazing i get a good 500 probably 600 meters before i get a little bit of break up and that's as i say where that's with the aerial going straight out the back so i'm just getting a little bit of break up there but you know i would still be able to see where i'm going and i'm just gonna make it to this sort of line where the hedges go excuse me across to the right getting a bit of break up there Again, you just move the transmitter, you just move your aerial slightly and then the picture comes back. Uh, I've flown with a lot worse than this breakup in the past because I know roughly where I am. So I trust that the return to home on this will always come home. So I'm not too bothered about um, the picture being perfect because I don't normally play back the FPV for you guys. But today's video is about position of uh, your FPV aerial. Now, I've, I've been doing three flights. That's why this video is quite long, so apologies for that, guys. But there's three positions that I've used it in. This first flight was with the aerial going straight out the back. I used to have it running down the leg but on one leg I had a compass, on another leg I've got the transmitter aerial, then I've got another compass on the front and another transmitter aerial on the front. So I, I've mounted it with a cable tie, I've just made two little holes in the bottom and I've put it on and as you can see the picture is absolutely amazing, I mean really 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 good, got an amazing picture. I'm just going to bring it down to land then I'm going to do my second flight which you will see the picture uh, quality uh, with that one and then you guys can make up your mind what you want to try yourselves but this is what I'm trying I'm probably using something like it's either a, a 200 possibly a 600 
uh, milliwatt transmitter. I'm using something like a six or an eight hundred TVL line camera. So it's uh, this picture quality is very good for something that low. This is flight number two. I've now got the aerial pointing down and already I'm getting static and break up and I haven't even taken all I've not even gone far away. So as I say, I'm changing the position to down. And when I get not even three, four hundred meters away, you will see the picture gets absolutely really really bad. I'm just hovering it here at the moment. And I'm going to just go down the same field that I've already been down. So uh, and there you go, it's getting break up already. I'm only just in this field, so I'm like a hundred meters away, and the picture quality is pretty bad. Uh, also, it could be getting a bit of Wi Fi interference because obviously I'm flying in a village in an urban area, so there will be lots of Wi Fi signals bouncing around which could be interfering with it. But I'm only like 200 meters away. This could be, you know, you couldn't fly like that all the time because it's just like there, it's gone completely. So at that point, you know, the drone could have gone up, it could have gone down. You really don't know what it's doing. And that's just by pointing the aerial down. The aerial I'm using on the actual receiver, which is plugged into my Android phone, and it's got the Go FPV app from the Android uh, Play Store, is I'm using the aerial I'm using on the receiver is just a, a basic uh, dipole antenna, the ones that you normally get with it. So um, they're not known to be good, but the first video, I'm using the same aerial. All I'm doing is changing the position of the aerial on the drone, or on my Phantom. So I do three flights. One, the first flight was straight. The second flight, was 45 degree angle down I think I did even do a little bit more of it pointed to the floor and trying to go high it didn't make any difference at all but look at the picture this this picture's banging I mean absolutely banging I've never had FPV picture this clear before and uh, so I will keep this set up and um, I won't try and move anything because the camera is about in the right place. You get an equal uh, showing of both left and right side of the motor arms. So I'm really impressed with the actual um, the camera quality. And looking through this camera, the the quality of the video is absolutely it's really really good it's better than DVR footage that you get from your goggles I mean you, you wouldn't get this clear image even with like fat sharks and things like that so this is absolutely really really clear so uh, as, as far as from the first flight to this flight then I think you can make up your mind for yourself which flight is the best, I don't need to tell you which I think is the best but I'll let you guys uh, come to that conclusion yourselves and then there's just one more flight to go which uh, when I land and then I'll take off again but I'm not going to go uh, the same position as I've gone with the last two flights I decide to go straight forward it's about the same range the same kind of obstacles if anything there's more trees in the way when I go the other direction than the last direction so it's it is a lot better uh, going the first way but again take off this is the third flight this is with the aerial pointing up so I'm going a little bit higher possibly than the last 
two flights but as I say there you go up up and away so I'm just messing with the, the you know the range type of thing and with the aerial which direction would be better um, and I I know in my mind which is the better way to have the aerial and from now on that's how I'm going to fly but I'll let you guys uh, decide that for yourself get a little bit of break up going out but not a lot as I say I'm using a pagoda aerial on the transmitter on the drone itself and I'm using a dipole aerial on the receiver would it be better if I had a pagoda aerial on the actual receiver you guys please drop me comments you know I read my comments I get back to you guys if you leave me messages um, I'm going between this house and the other houses because it's just a field I'm not going to go over the road I deliberately stop and then I'm going to do a return to home because I know the battery would be getting a little bit low uh, and I get a little bit of break up coming back because the aerial is facing away from you so you normally get a little bit of break up when you turn to face yourself just because the aerial is now turning away from me as soon as I just get over that little bit of break up then it gets quite good again but obviously that's not until I'm getting closer to me that it gets better but I think three flights straight down and up you guys can decide for yourselves which one you think is better I know which one I think is better but I won't tell you which one that you think you know you can watch the video I can't edit out the bad bits but have your say what air rules do you guys use and all that kind of thing what works best for you might help me out so yeah thanks for watching gadget man 404 out